Hello and welcome to the British Dapper and today we're talking about my sartorial shoe choices for spring 2024. Now it's fair to say we are only just in February of 2024 and already we're speculating what is going to be worn in the springtime of 2024. Now in the fashion world uh, there's been an increase in people wearing trainers but not in the traditional sense. They're now looking at alternatives uh, for styling of those training shoes. Now whilst this channel is not really about sportswear and that sort of thing, from a sartorial point of view it's interesting to see that there is a migration for more traditional materials being used in training shoes. For example, whilst it's fake, they are talking about snakeskin patterns, leopard skin patterns, and uh, alligator uh, skin designs used in the materials for the actual training shoes. An additional thing that um, is currently available is a training shoe sole unit which is designed more along the line of a moccasin or loafer style upper. So it's a slip-on training shoe. So that's quite interesting how that this has been influenced by more sartorial designs in a way. So it's something uh, that I found of interest and then I start to look at the current colour and the styles that are coming through on the catwalks at the moment and a lot of things are heading towards suede, chocolate colours and also earthy tones and also the loafer has become very popular on the catwalks at the moment. So taking inspiration from those things I've got eight pairs of shoes here or eight designs that I'm going to run through today which I feel would be very elegant in a sartorial point of view for somebody that's wearing a suit all the way down to somewhere wearing something a bit more casual in the spring period which is really ranging from almost winter conditions up to summer conditions and when we look at that in between period obviously there's going to be a range in climate conditions. So for example in the early stages of spring we're talking about more winter-like conditions and towards the latter part of spring we're then heading into more summer-like conditions and much drier con conditions potentially. So that's influenced my eight choices for this year and uh, whilst we are looking at the formal element of wearing shoes, uh, black being the most significant colour to use from a formal point of view, I've steered away from the classic uh, hole cut or uh, toe capped Oxford. So this year I've plumped for an Oxford style brogue. So as you can see this is a half wingtip version and uh, not a bad shoe. Got a little bit of broguing uh, on the toe and on the sides. You can see it is more of um, what we call a city style. And uh, so quite a good shoe to wear in more formal settings. But if you wanted to wear something a little bit less and uh, a little bit less formal but still want that elegant look then I've gone for this a derby and this is a Lokes derby this uh, full wing tip as you can see here we've got some broguing on it again and uh, nice silhouette to it quite a fashionable trendy look as well not quite the same as the more formal city brogue but this would go really well for that situation where 
we're talking about wearing something in a more formalised look. Now, whilst many people will now say, well, you haven't covered burgundy in this video, that's true. This year, I am sticking more to the colours that are currently in trend uh, in the fashion world. And like I said, that comes down to chocolates at the moment and dark browns. So my next choice for a less formal wear, again, is a half wingtip uh, chocolate brown or chestnut coloured shoe. Again, this is an Oxford lacing system. Uh, very nice for the more cooler times of the year and goes really well in uh, that semi-formal look. You could wear it with a suit, with uh, something like a sports jacket, it would go really well. And when it comes to the more informal look, then on this occasion I've plumped for something a little bit unusual and I've gone for a, a chucker boot design this is Oliver Sweeney, a little, little bit unusual in that it's cut in a, a much more spade-like shape. But it's a, a nice informal dark brown boot and, uh, and it gives you quite a nice silhouette for that more informal look. And that brings me on to when it starts to get a bit warmer. I think then most people would start bringing in more earthy tones or lighter tanned. But I'm going to go for this, which is uh, semi brogues. And they are in like a light chestnut colour. Very nice shoe. Oxford lacing system again. Goes really well with that a little bit more informal look and uh, slightly darker tan. I think uh, lighter tan shoes are better when we're heading into the latter part of spring, maybe, well, I would suggest more in the early summer period through the summer months. And staying with that slightly darker tan, then I've gone for this, a Derby, this is a Lokes as well. Uh, this is a conquer colour, but uh, full wingtip brogue effect. Much bigger broguing on this, so it's more of a country brogue look. But again, not a bad shoe. Very good for the uh, spring period, where you still might get a little bit of... Uh, damp conditions, so this would be a really good shoe to wear in the spring period. As the weather gets drier, then maybe we're looking at the introduction of suede. And in this case, I've gone for um, a brogue again. This is in a chocolate brown suede, um, more of a city brogue shape and silhouette. Oxford closing system and really good for that early spring uh, period where it's now starting to dry out all the way through even into summer. So it's a really versatile shoe but importantly the material and the silhouette and the colour of it really makes it a good choice for the spring this year. That brings me on to the last pair of shoes, and uh, this is the eighth pair. And in this case, we've gone for some lighter tan because we're looking at the end of spring into the early summer period, and we've gone for that loafer style. This has got a little bit of broguing in it as well, and a and a saw cut across the edge there. Um, but this is very popular at the moment. Not necessarily the colour, but a chocolate brown in this design would go really well. And also in a hard leather version, a dark chocolate, but in a loafer would go really well. 
especially this year. They seem to be very popular, um, along with another shoe I haven't actually got, but I will mention, and that is the Monk Strap. But this single Monk Strap in a dark chocolate brown seems to be very popular at the moment. So there's my uh, choice of eight particular shoes that I feel would fit most sartorial situations in this spring of 2024. But if you've got a shoe or a choice of shoes that you'd prefer, then why not jot them down below? Let me know what your thoughts are on this year and what not only the fashion world is looking at, but sartorially what you feel people might consider wearing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did give us a thumbs up, if you'd like to subscribe, then please feel free to do so. We love constructive comments, so if you'd like to make one, jot it down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. We're always looking for new content for videos, so if you've got some ideas, then just jot them down below again and we'll have a look at them. You never know, one of our next videos might be one that you've suggested. We also have a Buy Me A Coffee page, so if you'd like to make a contribution to the channel, then I'll put the link below so you can then make that contribution to the channel. So until next time, take care.